I called my my uh, mixtape Hooked on Lynn Tate because I do a lot of hooks for um, different artists. So I just thought, you know, I'm about to work on my EP. And, you know, when I lived in Portland, I, I was raised in Portland, Oregon. So I was there. I sang in a rock band. So I kind of wanted to kind of just tie this whole hook thing up with me doing hooks for all these different rappers and start focusing me on myself. So I dropped Hooked on Lynn Tate, you know what I mean, just to kind of really kind of closure for me because I really want to start working on my own work, you know, music and stuff. So that's why I dropped the Hooked on Lynn Tate because I, I did hooks for a lot of people. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, um, well, actually, Derek Blanks, his interns um, hit me up and they wanted to do a Glam Squad photo shoot on me. And that's pretty cool because when I was, I used to be signed to Nooney. And uh, I did a shoot with Derek Blanks when I was in the group, and it was just amazing. So they remembered, you know, me and my grind and everything. So they uh, they asked if, you know, they wanted to do a, a, a glam squat shoot on me, and it ended up being amazing. I just love the picture. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I just I just love that picture. Like, I don't, I, like, my nose, you know what I'm saying? It's so big to me. So <laughs> when they did that picture, I'm like, oh, my God. They made my nose smaller. It just was perfect, so. I chose that because I just liked the artwork. It was dope. Actually, I was performing the other night at Palace for a Christmas concert, and the actual, I think it was the owner, you know, Alox? I think that's the name, but he saw me perform, and he was like, yo, your music is dope. And, you know, I gave him a CD. He was like, you on that Piff? And I'm like, nah. And he was like, you want to be on that Piff? I'm like, of course. And so basically that's how it happened. Um, he hit me the next day. And he went on and put my mixtape, front page, everything. Like, he did that because he liked my music. So that's the reason why I kind of, you know what I mean? I, I had to, I didn't want to be picky and be like, nah, I'll drop it on this day when I had that opportunity to get it done by one of the people that work for them. So I just went on and was like, whenever you want to do it, do it. So we did it. So he was like, let's do it Monday. Man, I, I got over 100 songs. And I just, it was hard for me to narrow it down. Like, you know, people were like, nah, I'll just do 10. But uh, it was so hard to choose that 10. So I just put, you know, my favorite ones on there. I was like, I didn't really care because I got so many songs. I put the track list together. Um, basically, I, I really do everything. Um, I do, you know, I, I work at Hard Rock Cafe. I'm a waitress. And um, basically, I, I, I do everything. I put the track list together by the one, you know, I kind of, you know, I rap and sing. So I kind of did the soft to the hard. You know what I'm saying? I did all the soft music first. And then I put the hard music, so I kind of, I put the track list together. Well, I basically, I mean, actually one of my songs is actually my singles called Turn Me Out. It's net track 14 on there. Um, so basically, like I said, you know what I'm saying, I kind of wanted to get out of that doing hooks for everybody and focus more on myself. So I chose all the, you know, my favorite hooks and songs, but I put my, the last track, I put my single on there called Turn Me Out. It's just me. No hooks, no features, just me. And letting people see what I can really do. Because me doing these hooks has kind of made me fall. It, it didn't let me display myself as an artist as much as how I can do it, you know, with uh, my own stuff. So basically I let them see what I was doing because everybody was like, yo, you work so hard. I want to hear your music. I want to hear your music. I want to hear your music. So I went on and dropped that. But then I left that last track for people can really see what I can really do. I mean, I could do bigger things than that. I do pop music and EDM. I do all that, you know what I'm saying? But I still put kind of like an R&B-ish track, you know, at the last so they could see, you know what I'm saying? And that's really my single right now, and it's really dope called Turn Me Out. Y'all got to check it out. <laughs> what my favorite song is on the um, mixtape is probably Drug Dealer with Shawty Lowe. Well, I have, I have like two or three, but Drug Dealer with Shawty Lowe, when I perform that record, like, can I curse? When I perform that record, like, niggas go crazy because it's a real sexy hood record. So I love performing Drug Dealer. And then I got um, a song called Fucked Up by uh, Pastor Troy. That's a fun record. Every time I perform that record, niggas go crazy. So that's a dope one. And women, too. You know what I'm saying? Women love my record. And there's one more I got I just did with Lil Donald. We got a, a song called Some Ain't Right. Love that song too. Me and uh, I love performing Lil Donald because his energy is just like us together when we perform is amazing. So, you know, God bless, you know what I mean, it's his career and everything that happened to him because that was like one of my good friends. We was kind of grinding together, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's one of my favorite records too. But I love all my records though, they're dope. <laughs> Everybody always wonder, like, 
how do I get all these features with these rappers? And they, you know, they wonder like, oh, is she fucking? Is she doing this? Is she doing that to get these features? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not. Like, honestly, when I first started, after I got out the group, you know what I'm saying? The first person I did a hook for was Rich Homie Kwan. So it's like, um, everybody was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? She doing this. But what I do is I bring bad bitches every single time. Every time, like when I first start going, I noticed like guys, like they didn't want to, work they wanted to more flirt or more you know what i mean try me so what i did is i just start bringing women to the studio with me like three four girls every time so the distraction we get off of me and we could get work done you know what i'm saying and then all of a sudden now i'm a little sister you know what i'm saying so that was like that's the that's the way i got all these songs done because like people respected me that i wasn't in the streets you know what i'm saying but a lot of people don't know that, uh, you know, because a lot of people just think that, like, oh, she did this and she did that for a Rich Homie song, or she did this, she did, she did that for, you know, a Shouty Low song, even though Shouty Low's fam. So it's like I, I went through a lot of that, you know what I mean? People, you know, say, saying I'm a hoe and I'm this and that, but, you know, yeah, that's what a lot of people don't know, the stuff that I went through to get these records done, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm not a hoe. I just work hard and everybody fuck with Lynn Tate.